So this is a really good bait. Um, you need some frozen peeler crab, and um, these ones from Ammo, really good quality. They freeze them down exactly the same way as I do uh, at home, and I've got loads left in the summer in their shells. Really easy to peel. I'll show you those in a minute. You need yourself a nice decent squid, uh, panel rig, size 4 O Sakuma hooks on there to 35 pound fluorocarbon, uh, and some bait elastic. Um, basically, this is a crab and squid wrap. Uh, really good for uptiding uh, in shallow water, river estuaries like the Thames, Bristol Channel this works in, uh, views this in the Humber, um, all over the place, River Mersey. But again, uh, this creates a really streamlined bait that's really good for beach casting. Uh, it's very effective early season when the cod move in to feed on the crabs and of course when you get the spring run around sort of March time, works very very well there too. So I'll show you how to prepare this one. Okay, so the first job here, get rid of that bit of seaweed. Frozen crab. You want to rip the shell off, take all the legs off. Like I said before, the ammo freeze their crab exactly the same way as I do. I used to spend hours sitting at home on an evening peeling crabs like I'm doing now, but taking all the gills out, absolutely everything, making sure they were really nicely peeled. And I used to freeze them down individually, but uh, a friend showed me this quite a few years ago now and I've never looked back because this, fra this crab has been frozen in its shell, still got its lungs in, they're not black as you can see, full of juice, that's an absolutely perfect bait. Okay so we get rid of that, next thing to do is to peel this bit of squid, just take the old fins off up the top there, and cut the head off. The trick with this is to cut lengthways along the squid, but don't go all the way through. You only want to go through this top part of the mantle, because what you're looking for is to open it out like that, get all the guts out. So you've basically got yourself a nice squid body there. With the crab, same thing, cut it in half, but don't cut all the way through. About two thirds of the way through, or two thirds of the way up the body, shall I say. Cut the crab like that, so it's still connected, which gives you sort of a long bait. Then what you want to do is lay that in there, and then literally roll it up inside that bit of squid body. It's a little bit finicky, especially with cold fingers when you're out on a boat, but this is one of those sort of baits that if you're sitting at home in the winter because you can't get out fishing, you can knock a few of these up and freeze them. Just turn it around there. Okay, so there's my crab inside the squid. Bait elastic. Now it's important to start at the thin end here, and like I said, it is quite finicky. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. And basically, as that tightens up on itself, just turn it around so I can show you. As that tightens up on itself, the squid basically encapsulates the crab with just a little gap on the outside which really helps with the flavour, the scent leakage, all the juices coming out. This is another one of them baits where you can just give it loads and loads of elastic, especially around the top and bottom end, just to help keep everything in there. Okay, so there you go. That's your crab and squid wrap. Now to mount this on a panel rig, take the point hook, it's exactly the same as most other baits, squid baits and cocktails. You go in through the end, pull the hook all the way through, do that again, and just go in the hole where the line comes out, all the way through again, go into that same hole where the line comes out, pull the hook all the way through up to the eye, you don't have to pull it all the way, and when you pull on that top bit of trace line, <laughs> he says, I have it getting tangled up, that locks that hook up in place there, that's not going to swivel round. Top hook, three or four wraps, just through the top end of the squid like that. Pull that up tight, and there you go. That's not going to slip, that's not going to slide up the trace or down the trace. And you've basically got yourself there. A really, as you can see on this board, there's juice absolutely everywhere. That's a fantastic bait for fishing off the shore uh, and for fishing on the boat when you're up tied in it. Casts like a dream, it's long, compact. Brilliant for cod, early season, late winter, uh, great in the spring, and it's also a very, very, very good bait for bass from the shore. I've had loads of bass on this over the years. 
So yeah, give that one a go.